Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Mike's Basement. We are once again in Star Citizen. But it is with a bit of a saddened heart that I make this recording. I'm not, I'm not out of Star Citizen, that's not it, and I haven't been kicked out as you can obviously see, I'm still in here. <clears throat> we have a lot of stuff to do in the patch and the new patch, but something has happened that we have been notified about going from patch 3.12.0 to 3.12.1 and that is primarily what this video is going to be about we are going to take our goodbyes with Levski at Delamar yes well I suppose that Levski was always only there for us to loan for a while it is so that uh, Levski was initially put in by CIG to uh, test out um, stuff. Well, test out the, the, I suppose, test out the the environment that Levski was. It's a, it's an asteroid or a planetoid, something like that. It's not very big, and you can see that when you fly over it. Um, according to the Star Citizen law. Levski and Delamar actually belongs in a system called, I think it's Nix. So uh, that is why that it has always ever been as a loner here for us at, uh, at Stanton. They uh, rented the place for some time, but uh, now they have to move on to a new place. And we are going to uh, dedicate this episode here for taking a bit good final look at Levski before we finally meet again when Nix is introduced. So uh, we are currently at Everest Harbor over Hurston and uh, we are going to take my uh, constellation, my Connie Andromeda all the way to Levski and uh, take a good look around and perhaps even give them some fireworks before we leave again. Well, at least as much fireworks as we can give them, that is our counter missions. <laughs> but it looks okay, so I suppose it's fine. Yeah, well, uh, I, I have to say personally that Levski has actually for a very long time been one of my favorite places to be. If I had to trade somewhere, I would usually <clears throat> Sorry, I would usually try to go to Levski and there's no real reason for that other than I just liked the environment. I just liked how Levski was. It was sort of a, it had a special feel about it that you didn't see anywhere else. And I do know that I have given um, uh, New Babbage high praises and I will still give New Babbage high praises. It's, uh, it's a fantastic place to be. But oh, it seems that we have to take a little trip to Crew L1 before that. Let's see, what should we take? That's stored at Lawwill. Um, do we have anything that's relatively fast? Let's take a look at my Retaliator, because I actually bought a Retaliator, and I don't think I've ever shown it here in one of my videos. So let's do that. Let's let's get the Tally instead. And I'm sorry for the reflection that you get. Um... <laughs> from my from my screen uh, in my glasses if I take the glasses on I just don't see that well so that's the reason why I have them so I can't see without glasses but n not as well so that's the reason why but uh, yeah, I know that it can be a bit annoying when I look up at the camera that you can see the reflection so I'll try to avoid that the best I can uh, elevator, come on. Uh, let's try another one. What about this one? Hello, elevator. Ah, yes. And uh, what was it? It was pad six or something. Yeah, pad six. And uh, have to remember. A very important thing 
put on the helmet. I've actually noticed that one of the things that I thought initially when I started at Star Citizen and came to these outposts, well, that was obviously not Everest Harbor because when I started, I don't think Everest Harbor was above Stanton, uh, sorry, above Hurston. So uh, it was one of the uh, R&Rs I'm talking about here. But I was always of the impression that this area here sort of... Um, made a, a line between where there is pressurized and where there's not sort of like a uh, a force field in in star trek and uh sometimes when you went in here and took off your helmet you would suffocate but let me just show you i'll do this for science now i've taken off my helmet let me just make sure that i have a med pen ready <laughs> uh let's see Utility. Yeah, look at my... Uh, see, I've changed my outfit to be sort of... Uh, I have a med pen. All right. Are you ready? I'm not, but... Uh, see? And in again. And he got the, the, the his breath back. Let's uh, do that. And put on the helmet once again. There it is. My retaliator. I've put on some paint on it, so it looks very, very nice. There we go. All right, let's go out and take a look. So we're going to uh, we're going to take the tally here to uh, Crusade Isle One, where I have some refinery jobs going, and uh, I have also some refinery jobs going at what was it? It was Arc, Arc L1, I think it is. Let's just take a look. See, Eros Harbor. Yeah, Arc L1. But uh, we're going to, uh, I'm going to uh, put out some videos to show you exactly that. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, the elevator, well, we actually have that little logo here, so I can see where the, exactly where the elevator is. So uh, let's call it down going to remove the chat I'm not going to use it right now all right up we go now the cool thing about the tally is the torpedoes I mean they are I mean just look at this let me see if I can open this door look at these torps here man they are and one of the really really the the coolest things one of the coolest things about these torpedoes is that they actually look quite similar to uh real torpedoes from uh submarines and ships the only thing missing is that we have an uh rocket exhaust here instead of having a, a propeller here but otherwise other than that they are sort of the same size and that looks roughly the same Let's see if i can close this door again we can take a, a little bit, a little look around on the tally once we're away. Uh, it's a pretty okay cool ship. It's pretty heavily armored. It has a lot of turrets. Doesn't have any uh, weapons for the pilot, except for the uh, uh, torpedoes, of course. Now the torpedoes in what the heck? <laughs> the new patch. Ah, there we go. I don't know what happened there. A feature, as we call it. <laughs> there we go start it up let's take a look at the side look at this that i mean that really really sleek design it has that long long shape um and with the wings foiled in it it it's very 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 small i love it and when we didn't uh take off and we uh um rotate the engines you can see it has other engines um and uh put up the landing gear it will fold out the wings and and it looks it i i mean in my opinion there are two ships in star citizen that look the the meanest uh one of them is the saber in my opinion but in, in the, the ship that really looks like it just wants to hurt you it's the tally it's the retaliator i think it's it's one of the coolest looking ships in my opinion. Behind me, I still have the. Uh, I'll, I'll make. I'll announce that right now. Behind me, I still have the uh, the green screen on, 
but uh, I probably won't try to make a real green screen out of it, uh, a chroma key, because I have a, a lot of background light, uh, background light, as you can see, even when I move around, the cam sort of picks up on it. Uh, yeah, so that, that probably won't work, but um, I'll just have it there so that you have sort of a, that, that you can see me, because if I remove the background here, you just see a lot of background light and I'll be completely black. So this is, uh, this is the one. Oh yeah. But, um, let's go to, uh, Cruel One first. Let's, uh, do it the right way and ask for permission to take off. And I'll just scratch myself on my arm. Oh. Thank you. All right. Are you ready? I guess I'm ready. So, uh, did I turn off the engine? Oh, that may help. I didn't turn on the engines. <laughs> My God. All right, so let's take off now. All right, you're, you're going to watch this from the outside. Take a look at this. Oh, what? No, stop, 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 stop. You are going to fly, but not just yet. All right, so first I am going to uh, move the uh, hover engines. So let me just show you that. There we go. And let's uh, uh, retract the landing gear. Look at that. Now, it, in my opinion, this looks like a beast. It looks like a beast that wants to hurt you a lot. And you can see that by the torpedoes sitting down here, waiting, just waiting to be released. <laughs> All right, but uh, let me just get it in a more pleasing angle and uh, let's get going because can't spend all the time on talking and showing ships and all that. So let's see, we're going to go up. And I am still using my uh, HOTAS setup. I have my uh, T-16000 uh, throttle and my stick, but I don't use, still don't use my pedals for Star Citizen. I just don't see the need for it, honestly. Let's spool up. I've been told that if I spool up off the target and then move on to it, it should... Uh, it should uh, work right away. Let's get away. A little bit of lag. So let's get out and take a look around. So one of the turrets that we have is this one here. Uh, sorry, this one here, it goes down under. It's a size three turret. We also have, or I also have here, a size three turret sitting on top. Down here we have some uh, weapon slots that we can put in some weapons. Let me just see if I can give you an example. Uh, see, place. There we go. There we have a gun. And we can uh, equip it again. And put it away. Here we have uh, compartments for the crewmates. As you can see, we have six crew compartments. So we can have seven crew members on this boat, all in all. And let me just show you something, because these compartments here, they work as both uh, escape pods and beds. And I must say, honestly, if I had to sleep here, I wouldn't. <laughs> honestly, I wouldn't. This, let me just show you, because it's almost like going inside a coffin. Let me just show you. Look at that. You're completely sealed in, man. It's, I mean, I would get claustrophobia from being in here. I mean, seriously? <laughs> Who the heck would want to sleep there? I've been in the Danish army. I've been conscripted to the military. And I can tell you, even though I have slept outside in minus 10 degrees Celsius uh, frost, <laughs> it doesn't compare to this. So uh, let's, uh, let's get the heck out of here. Let me see if I can use Y. Yeah, perfect. 
our crew compartments. We have a little glass window here. Let's uh, move on and take a cl Yeah, we have a little window here as well. A lot of windows, given the fact that this is a military, militarized ship. All right, let's see if we can get past that ladder. So here we have uh, the captain's compartment. For some reason, it's a little bit different, but... Well, I suppose it's really not. It's just a tad bigger. It does have perhaps some more things you can do in here, but yeah. It's going to be a pretty quick tour. So here we have the tops. And uh, here we have a uh, um, toilet and, uh, well, you see just fine toilet <laughs> out in the middle of uh, anything and uh, a uh, shower almost like a Drake ship you know where the toilet is just placed out in the middle and you can just take a dump while everyone else is watching down here we have some of the components inside the ship the engineering access panel here we have an fan never noticed that we have an engineering station uh, if you then you can see it goes up. You can't really do much here because, well, I suppose you can't even turn it off, but turn it on, I mean. So, um, but um, yeah. Down here we have some more turrets. Let me see if I can remember. In here we have the third size three turret. It's also underbelly, as you can see, we go down. And then we have let me see if I can find the access port. Here it is. Here we have the two side size 2 turrets. We have one here. And we also have... I guess we need to go all the way around. Go through engineering. And here we can also see the two, the two last tops. You can actually look outside and see... I think this is one of the turrets. It is. It's the hind turret. Underbelly, as I call it. I think it's called dorsal in in sort of correct language. And here we have the fifth and final turret, size two turret. So uh, yeah, that's basically the uh, retaliator in a nutshell. You have uh, that's all you have. But as you can see, with five turrets, six crew members. So the sixth crew member is going to be the engineer. But five turrets, that is some firepower for a relatively small boat like this. All right, let's land and uh, take the boat that I really wanted. Let me see if I can... If I can uh, get near the station now. Yeah, I could. All right. So maybe what I've been told is not totally accurate. Let's just see if we can find a good spot to land. Like I said, the Retaliator, as cool as the ship it is, it doesn't have any... Um, doesn't have any um, um, pilot weapons at all. Like I said, except for the torpedoes. But that's that's I guess that's uh, fair enough, because you have a bunch of torpedoes on it, and you have a bunch of turrets on it. So just manning, I would say just manning two turrets, that would make this uh, force to be reckoned with three turrets, the three size, three turrets, then it's uh, it's not something you're going to uh, attack lightly. Oh, no, wrong button. And uh, hope that I can break in time. Oh, I can. Please proceed to assign landing bay. All right, but where is it? Where is my assigned? Oh, it's up there. And uh, uh, the reason why I'm quiet is that I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually being a little bit um, focused on landing without crashing. I've had this uh, hotel set up for a while now, but 
I'm still getting used to flying this way. All right, there we go. That was the uh, landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. The Aegis Retaliator. Let's uh, go and get the primary boat for this video here. My. Um, sorry, I just forgot the name. Uh, my Constellation Andromeda. Also, from what I've been told or what I've seen it appears that I might get my constellation Taurus in I don't know in, in second quarter it seems that they're going to be finished with it around there yeah so um I'm looking very much forward to that. Let's go to the lobby. And get the Konya Andromeda. Now, I'm, one of the things that I'm particularly interested or sort of um, curious to see is uh, how much cargo capacity does the Taurus have compared with the Freelancer Max? and the uh and the uh, carney series in general and all the other ships i know that we should have the mercury star runner no sorry not the mercury star runner the um the uh what's it called the hercules star lifter in the first quarter so that would be 3.13 uh patch that we'll get so I'm looking at uh, that. That's going to be interesting because that is a big ship with a lot of cargo space. It's it's the one of two ships now that will be able to move the um, uh, what's it called uh, the uh, yeah I can't remember the the ship the the the, the anti ship the anti air <laughs> launcher uh, I can't remember the name. Perhaps I'm going to. Uh, Remember at some point. All right, let's get the Kony Andromeda. Uh, and but it can also have the uh, the, the tank, the new tank, <laughs> that uh, is going to be introduced into Star Citizen at some point for some reason I really can't figure out. I don't know what the heck we would need a tank for at this moment, because we don't really have any war scenarios in. Uh, it was Pat Ten, right? We don't really have any war scenarios in, in Star Citizen yet, and we certainly don't have enough people on a server to create a real war, so I don't know why they would give us that, but that's what we got. We got a, uh, a tank at some point, a tank. <laughs> uh, it annoys me that I can't remember the name of it, but maybe there is a way. Let's just... Uh, get aboard the Kony Andromeda and then we're going to look inside my uh, inventory to see what ships I have and there you can also see the boats the boats that I have oh, sorry there you can also see the we vehicles that I have not the boats And I just noticed right now that I left the music on, but fair enough. Hell, let me in. Thank you. Jeez. All right. Let's uh, look straight. For starters, <laughs> uh, start up ship, power up, and start engines. And while we're warming up, let's take a look on what the name was. Some things have happened since I last made a video about Star Citizen. Let me just show you. I've been very active. So 
I no longer have my, I think I mentioned that in one of the streams, I no longer have my Anvil Hornet for any reason. I think it's because the Anvil Hornet was somehow connected to the loner freelancer that we have, something like that. Instead, I now have the Anvil Arrow. Don't know why. It's the Ballista. There was it. The only two ships now from 3.13 that can move the Ballista around is the 890 Jump and the Hercules Star Lifter. That's the only two. I now have my favorite ship in this game. One of my favorite ships. The Anvil Carrick. And the reason why this is one of my favorite ships is because this is the ship in Star Citizen that in my opinion, maybe except for the 600i, is the ship that mostly signifies exploration in my opinion. This is a true exploration vehicle and I, I love the bulky size of it. I love the way it looks. I think it looks so freaking cool. So uh, that's why I have the Anvil Carrick. And I've tried to make, I made uh, some money mining in order to get there. We have the, I have the 100i, the 125a and the 135c. Um, that's uh, ship of the month, something like that. And uh, then I have a MISC prospector. I have two prospectors. The reason for that is that I have finally realized... Let me just take off and uh, set our course for Delamar. Let me just get on the way and then I'll continue with my little speech. Alright. Hello, Delamar. This time we're going to take a proper approach down to Delamar. Yes. I finally realize now that I am so fond of mining. I think mining encompasses basically everything I love to do in this game. The two major things that I love to do in Star Citizen is mining and trading now mining with refineries is not exactly the same as trading because trading you go to some place and you buy stuff and you fly to another place and you sell it but in my sort of experience and opinion the actions that you perform are relatively relatively speaking the same so what i like about mining now first and foremost is that I don't have to scour uh, an asteroid field around to find just the perfect rock to mine and then leave all the nitty nitty stuff around that doesn't give much money and then just take the high quality stuff. If I fill up a caterpillar with corundum that will give me a pretty good penny so I just mine almost anything that I find, try to avoid the inert material of course but I mine most that I find. I'll make a video about me mining, taking you out for a mining tour and show you how the refineries sort of work in, in general. You can actually make eight, I made eight jumps last time. I actually made 10 or 12 jobs because I made two jobs at one place and eight, eight jumps, uh, sorry, eight jobs in another place. And I mean refinery jobs in this context here. Um, that's the one part. So I can go out, mine, go back, refine, go out, mine and create and do that to my heart's desire or however much time I have on my hands. And when all of that is done, I can take, for example, my uh, Connie Andromeda here, fill it up and then head out and sell it. So you could say it's the latter part of trading. It's the other half, right? But without the money risk. And it appears that I have never been to Delamar in this patch here. What a suiting exit. All right, let's see where exactly we have Levski's over there. All right. Let me just see if I can mark it. 
Usually it doesn't work for some reason. No. I don't know. But we know roughly where it is, so let's head into the system. And we're going to... I know this is going to be the slow way. But we're going to do this the proper way. Flying in at a relatively slow speed. And I'm going to take myself a cup of coffee. Cheers. Hmm. It's almost cold. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so, um, Levski is going to leave us from 3.12.1 and um, yeah sorry for the interruption I just had to open the door for my son he is coming home from school right now actually it is uh, half past three here in Denmark just so you know <laughs> when I'm recording this video here um, yeah let's uh, let's move to Delamar and as you can, as you approach Delamar, just like you would do any other planet, and it looks really big, but then you quickly realize that when when you get relatively close to it, it's it's really not because you are far away and it's a big planet. It's because you're actually pretty close and it's a very very small planet. Uh, it's not even a planet actually. I'm not exactly sure whether it really is and asteroid or it's a planetoid but it's something there about let's uh increase the velocity to full let me see yeah Levski is there so you see it's only 190 kilometers away the big question is whether it's on one side of the planet or the other side of the planet but usually Levski tends to be in uh, the dark side on the dark side so i will Really expect it to be on the other side of the planet. Sorry, the asteroid. So this is going to be probably a relatively long episode because I'm going to spend a fair amount of time wandering around on Levski and uh, taking a good final look at it and like I tried to say before I'm not really sure when exactly we'll see Delamar and Levski yeah there was another little interruption sorry about that <laughs> but uh, you didn't miss much other than me slowly creeping towards uh, Levski so yeah I'm not sure when exactly we'll see Delamar and Levski again and uh, because we don't really know when we'll get the next system we know for a fact that the next system we'll get will be pyro so now I can better hear myself in both ears <laughs> uh, we know that uh, the next system we'll get will be pyro so we really don't know when we are going to to uh, to see uh, Delamar and Levski again, so it's not going to be a really farewell, but it's going to be uh, sort of like uh, au revoir, something like that. See you again. And now you can see as we are sort of hawking along the surface you can see it's really not it is a very, very small very small uh, asteroid or planet. Let me do something that I've never done before actually. I've never actually landed here. And there was the little crater down here. That one. I almost sound like Han Solo. That's a good one. <laughs> Alright, let's see.
So this seems to be a relatively flat plane to land. Let's take her down. There we go. All right, let's go out and take a look at the... Uh, at Levski. Sorry, this is not Levski. This is Delamar. Let's go out and take a look at Delamar. If uh, the door will open up for me. I've actually never been on this side of this asteroid. So the law about Delamar is that it is an asteroid or planetoid, a relatively big asteroid, if nothing else, that has been completely strip mined. Um, so everything worth anything on this little uh, asteroid here is uh, it has been mined and left is the old um, mining station uh, Levski which if I'm not mistaken has somehow been converted into sort of like a communist paradise or something like that but one of the interesting thing is that even though it's definitely smaller than uh, one of the moons that we have around uh, Hurston or Crusade or anything like that. Look at that. A really, really big rock. <laughs> um, it, it has a normal... Um, it has a normal... Um, it has a normal gravity. But look at this. Imagine being the first one landing in, in a in a Kanye Andromeda like this on a foreign planetoid like this or whatever you want to call it looking at a distant star and just taking in looking at these huge rocks flying around over it look at that i mean i wonder how big these are they're pretty big yeah but um so this is the lama i mean I actually wish I've spent some more time exploring it, but we have to settle with this little exploration that we can do here, here now. And then we're going to go to Levski and, uh, well, I suppose I could tell you some anecdotes about what has happened in, at Levski for my, for me personally. But in general, we're just going to take a look around and, uh, See what happens. See what there is. It's an interesting... I, I mean, they have really made an interesting surface here. As you can hear, some of my, my wife and my daughter. She has been... Uh, my wife has uh, picked up my daughter from daycare. And uh, she's now home. So if you hear a lot of ruckus in the background right now, uh, that's the reason why. But look at this, what we're wandering in right now, all the way around, as you can see that that ridge, and I suppose this is also part of the ridge. Let me just show you. That ridge over there, and all the way around, that's part of a crater from some kind of asteroid or something like that, a, a big comet that um, impacted on the surface now i can't really find it but if they have had made it sort of really really accurate in the center of the uh, impact crater there should be sort of a little uh, thingy sticking up but i suppose that depending on how much uh, um, atmosphere there is here on delamar given that it's a small planetoid there shouldn't be much. This could actually be the uh, that little thing sticking up. This one here, right here. Let me see if I can get up on this. No. Probably not. No. Let's 
if we can get up on this one yeah and then this one no <laughs> almost i'm going to try again all right let's see uh one two three Ugh. yes so yeah uh, this one here could probably be the center of the impact crater i can't remember the name it's i mean i've, I've only dealt with uh, the physics behind these things when i started my first year in in at university so uh yeah but let's uh head back to uh Delamar. sorry <laughs> i keep messing around with these two names let's head back to levski and say hi to uh to a final hi and uh a final goodbye with the station a farewell until we see each other again uh All right. Let me see if I can get my bearings and then uh, we'll be on our way. And uh, for some reason, I seem to have some problems with my neck. I keep looking down <laughs> to this side. All right, let's take off. See if I can find where there it is. About 51 kilometers this way. So let's just uh, hog along the surface, and uh, you can you can take a look at at Delamar from the outside. I suppose that's even better. Look at that. <laughs> In my opinion, this is actually a this is actually a pretty beautiful, pretty lovely looking little moon. No, sorry, not little moon, little asteroid, little planetoid, whatever it is. Actually, come to think of it, I'm not really sure about this. Alright, so here's the deal. Uh, I, I suppose uh, Delama is an asteroid because asteroids are usually smaller than moons and to my best knowledge Delama is smaller than the other moons we have around in Stanton if Delama was a planetoid that means that it somehow was the beginning of a planet that didn't really uh, finish if you will. There it is. Now we can also see the towers. Did I hit something? No. Um, if it was a planetoid that didn't really finish, it should be bigger than your average uh, moon. here, Also here in Stanton. So, it could be a very early planetoid, but I don't think it so I would still say that this is uh, this is an asteroid, not a planet, planetoid. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. All right. So uh, now we are uh, weapons locked. So I'm just turn off my weapons in any case. Then I don't have these web missile parts sticking out. And there is our little turn. Deploy landing gear and uh, turn on my headlights. And we're almost there.
Nice landing. Nice and soft landing. Let me just... I don't think we really need it, but let me just... Uh, refuel if I can. I can't see it. Get some fuel on board. All right. Turn it all off. There we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one final hello and look at Levski. For the time being, that is, of course. I have to say, I'm really going to miss this. The People's Alliance, I think they're called. And here, here we have the He-Man clone with his uh, manly hair. <laughs> uh, I'm not judging, not at all. Yeah, honestly, I think it looks a bit funny, but... Uh, I mean, each to their own, right? So, uh, let's see if we can get an elevator. We could, otherwise it was, this would be a very short visit. I never seen the new, uh, the new, uh, I've never seen the new uh, terminals here at Levski. They look really nice. As much I apparently haven't seen because I haven't been at Levski at some time now. So here we have Teach. I'm not going to Teach Ship Shop. I'm not going to go down there, but this is where I bought my very first caterpillar. And because I lost it in a patch, I also bought my very second <laughs> caterpillar there. Um, so I have two caterpillars. Here we have Customs. And here we have, I mean, This is, I mean, this is a, uh, uh, a statue that is uh, the old Soviet Republic worthy. Even the... Come on. Stop running into me. Even the, uh, the caps on their head. I mean, seriously. But it's cool. And we have, remember Anthony Tanaka. So, yeah, sounds Japanese. And join us. Down here we have Liberty Maintenance. Area B. So we have residential area. If you sort of despawn, or whatever you want to call it, at Levski. This is the area that you... Uh, that you wake up in. Imagine living in a little box like this. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I lived in a relatively small tent in the military as well, and we, our rooms honestly weren't that big. We had four beds in each room, so four people for a relatively small, smaller than our living room here, but still. And we have Liberty Maintenance. Can we talk to this guy? How are you? No. He's not very talkative. And then we have some, I'm not sure, it looks like missiles or bombs lying around, but heck, you know. <laughs> it's the people, People's Alliance, right? So why don't we just have some weapons lying around? Who cares? We're going to take a look at the uh, Grand Barter in a moment. It's almost going to be sort of like a tour. I've never seen anyone be here, so I'm not sure what this station really is for. Perhaps it's something later on of gameplay argument. 
Here we have the uh, admin guy. I'm not going to talk to him because let me just no. Oh, let's say hi one final time. Need something? Yeah, I just want to say hi. How are you? I'm okay. Just working. Aren't we all, right? So, uh, see you around. We're done here. Yes, we. Oh man. Having a, talking about having a bad day. Trading terminals. Uh, they still have the ore sales that should probably should have been removed, but yeah, I suppose they probably should have been removed. But then again, if they're going to remove the entire pl uh, pl <laughs> if they're going to remove the entire asteroid, then why the heck remove two small terminals, right? So let's see what's down here. I can is this also some? Yeah, this is probably also. A residential area where you can despawn or respawn if you will yep I actually think for the most part I've uh, when I've spawned at Levski it's been down these corridors here so yeah the admin station Let me see if I can find the elevator down to the outside. No, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the Grand Barter first. Sort of the uh, trading area of Levski. And you know what? I hope I don't lose it. I'm going to buy a trench coat from the grand barter here and put it on as a eternal remembrance of Levski until the next system is reintroduced I suppose to sort of stay within the law I should say until we borehole station you can get some jobs down there um, until the road to the next system is rediscovered and down here we have uh, power and control unit you can also get some jobs down there if i'm not mistaken but let's go to the grand barter and as you can see most of Levski, and that's one of the things i find it um find really uh sort of uh attractive about this place it's ma most of the things that the sort of makeshift parts that they are sort of a makeshift home that they have put together i think i would uh if i had to compare levski with something i probably would compare it with um if any of you have seen uh, the expanse i would compare it somewhat with uh, the belters they also sort of, sort of have their own pigeon language and uh, it seems that their homes have been sort of uh, makeshift from uh, when they sort of was um, put there by Earth to uh, to work on, I think it's Saturn? Moons around Saturn? So uh, yeah, let's see. Look at this. This really is sort of a makeshift place, right? You have these little lamps lying around. But it has its own very unique atmosphere here. And that's what I really like. Look at this image here. It looks like... From what I can see, it looks a little bit like a Banu Merchantman. But I'm not sure. It's hard to see. And there you have the... From a former time. See, now it just says join. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I can't join you, my friend. You can buy a little helmet if you want to do that. But I don't, I want this one. Yeah, I'll confirm it. Let's see, can I find some pants Sorry. here as well? How about this one? This looks, this looks also pretty cool. Yeah, I've heard you. Just stole my ship, alright? I don't need it at the moment. 
Oh, come on. Come on. Why don't I... I want a beer. It's open. It says it's open. What? Where? Well. And then, and then we just have a forklift standing around here in the middle of the area where you're going to eat. And if you want, you can buy a plant for your ship. Suppose I can't do that because I can't buy plants. Here we can buy what? Hacking chips? Yeah. And uh, what is that? Tiger Claw. And uh, can't buy that. And buy some water. Let's buy some water. And uh, what else do we have? Some energy bars. Yeah, why not? Ah. Well, well. What about this one? Yeah. Let's do it. Alright, so I couldn't buy any pants, but let's just, um... Let's see if I can find a little discreet corner. Let's see if I can get in here. No. They do have boots, but I can't get to the... Oh, they have boots down here. Oh, let's see. Um... Either these or these. Ah, these are a little too sort of uh, biker type, right? Bedrocks here. Um, Wanderer base. Yeah, let's let's get those. <laughs> they really don't have any woman size anything here, but pants. Apparently we can't buy pants here. Alright, let me see if I can find some place to... What do I have in here? Is that armor? I think it's armor. Alright, this seems to be discreet enough. Let me just get back here. Don't think anyone is watching. All right, let's uh, quickly change clothes. Let me see, undersuit. All right. Now I'm a real Levski citizen. <laughs> it actually looks pretty cool. All right, let's go inside and see what we have in here. Pretty sure it's armor. Yeah. It's an armor shop. <laughs> the the make make uh, what is it? Do it yourself <laughs> flight suit with helmet. Do it yourself flight suit for a pirate. And the uh, <laughs> handicapped grasshopper. <laughs> Here we have something more modern. I think in Robert Space Industries something. Hi, how are you? Not very talkative, it seems. What? What? Bye. What a rude man. Apparently he didn't have a good day. Alright. Let's go back to the... Grandfather. And take a look around what else we got. And uh, so we can't go that way. We can go this way, but I'm not exactly sure where it leads. This leads to zero. Or maybe... Watch. You are being filmed. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very happy to know that.
look at listen to the noises it's really sort of a it's really is sort of a makeshift where people just hammer and bang on everything in order to stay safe i will something with power and something else I wonder um, where I end up. So here we have... Ah, power and control unit. Uh, which seems to be broken at the moment. But there you have one of the uh, big ball holes that they made. And you can see all the little... Um, tracks to go back and forth to mine so I suppose that's how they strip mine the asteroid they simply just made a lot of tracks to go back and forth so like, as far as I know it um, Levski has been for the most part abandoned as a mining station but has been taken over by these uh, I don't know what you call it communist or whatever they are elevator shafts Oh, and now we are back at the power and control unit. So let's take the other road down to... Uh, I don't think there's much. There's the upper part. We can take a look at that on the Grand Bottle. And as you can see, it's sort of the reason why you can see it's sort of a makeshift place is that you have this big, big toe crane in the <laughs> in the middle here. So this obviously has been some kind of storage area or working area. So there is a hospital, or well, there isn't one. Down here we have central ventilation system with Dumbas Depot. So this is just your ordinary place where you can buy uh, upgrades for your ships one of the the most the, one of the nicest things in my opinion about Levski and Delamar hi how are you hello all right so yeah, but this is Dumbas Depot. You can buy a lot of stuff here, as you can see. And here we have a... Um, I think it's a Hornet. But I'm not sure. And here we have... Oh, we have more stuff here. But as you can see, one of the cool things is that it really looks like sort of they just slapped, <laughs> slapped up a, a shop right here because they found somewhere they could do it. Bye bye. And we obviously can't go that way. It would be hazardous. And here we have something. I'm not even sure what the heck that is. I think this is one of the, the one of the mining stations where you can sort of. This is one of the tracks that we saw before, where these sort of can move around on or along. And some flammables standing in the <laughs> middle of the. I don't. I don't hope they have any children here because child and inflammable material. That's not a very good combination. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, one of the, the nice things about uh, Levski compared to other places, and I know that it has been very much improved on by CIG, but one of the nicest things about Levski in particular is that the, most of the NPCs actually do stuff. They do just stand around or look like they've sort of been paralyzed or something like that. 
Look at this. <laughs> so here we have the borehole station. So I guess we found another way into it. Stop pushing me around. So I suppose you... Borehole station is this, is this way. You can get some jobs down here if you want to. I think it's in here. I can't do it right now. But I'm pretty sure she'll just send me away. Ah, nice um, leg. Hi. I don't think I've seen your face around these parts before. Actually, it's the first time I'm here. I make a point of knowing who's who. What brings you around? Uh, just visiting. Yeah, not so much to see, but the bar serves up a solid bit of fire juice. No, they don't. Just be sure not to lose all your wits. Uh, yeah, so that's easy because they don't sell me anything. Thank you, but thank you. Uh, let's see if she has anything for us. Ah, then you'll be wanting to see me. Name's Reco. I see to the boring, fiddly bits for most of the miners work in the area. And also a... Site claims, equipment orders, cyborg hand. transfers and the like. For most jobs, the terminal will set you up. But if you're after something with a bit of air on it, best to talk to me direct. If you'd like, I can see to setting you up with something now. Nothing too big, but it'll let us see how we feel about working together. All right. Sound all right to you? Yeah, sure. Great. I'll She's pretty fast now. with that leg. And she'll probably say that he, that this he does. Contract could be a good fit. Oh, all right. Here are the details for you. Let me see what she got for me. Let's see. My son. On Discord. Oh, yeah, that's one of these. Yeah, why the heck not? Let's do it. Good. Fly safe. I will. Usually you can't get a job from her unless you have sort of the appointment in your um, in your mobi class. But I actually think this is an improvement if you can just go and visit these people and ask for jobs instead of having to go through the appointment and then back and forth. So if I'm not mistaken, this is pretty much everything there is to see around the Grand Barter. Um, there is something, let's go to the other side, but it's another shop. It's not really, um, it's not really something new. So I suppose it's a fitting in to do one last job for Reco. Yeah, we have this, uh, conscientious objects or whatever. <laughs> the heck that name is um, said uh, very briefly it's guns so you can buy weapons guns and all that in here are you talkative hi how are you hi welcome to the store thank you a nice face that's good for once so yeah you can buy you can even buy the uh, bore bit uh, drill whatever they call for the gray cat uh, little hand tool and Hi. we have Good some have what the heck is that pink 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 quick flare quick 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 flare there's no c in it <laughs> and we have a small smg a rail gun oh yeah and uh, the br2 shotgun i'm pretty sure i still i do have the br2 right around. now we another rail gun yeah i'm looking um, SMG once again, and s some sights, some silencers, and stuff. Sixty percent off. That's re that's <laughs> that's really some. Uh, is that a sniper rifle? P six L. I'm pretty sure I have that. And what's that? Coda pistol. I also have that. And this is the S thirty eight, 
And here we have the Uberf. That's the lightning or uh, uh, electricity gun. Here we have an, an arc light. That's one of the um. Oh, what the heck is it called? Um, uh, laser weapons. So this is a missile launcher, and uh, I want that. I'm pretty sure I don't have the GP33, the bomb launcher. I can't see that now, obviously. Let's just get it, because then I have two, and that's okay. 7,000. Well, it's not exactly cheap. Let's see if I can find some rounds for it. Not here, it appears. So we need to go to a station. So, um, make sure to check them out. I will, I have. I've even bought something. Let's see, weapons, attachments, so we need the... Yeah, here we have the orbit mining attachment and the oxytorch cutter. And uh, let's see... What was the name of it? Let's hope they have the rounds for it. And the true hole tractor beam? They don't. They have the gun, but they don't have the rounds for it. That's pretty annoying. And we have two times... LMG, Dimiko, Coda, Arclight, Animus... No! What was the name of it? TP-33 Mod Grenade Launcher. So, uh, unfortunately we can't get some, uh, some rounds for it. Alright, so this is the, uh, Grand Barter. Let's uh, take a quick peek at Levski from the outside. We can even take one of my little cars. To do it in? Probably need a... Uh, well, we need to have my suit on because it's an, it's an open garage. And uh, I'm pretty sure that we don't have an atmosphere <laughs> here on uh, Levski. Delama, sorry, Delama. Now we just need an elevator. Let's go to customs. Usually I would cut away all of this walking around and uh, getting from A to B and all that. But in this case here, I'll try to keep at, as much of it as I can. Because I think it's sort of, uh, part, of part of the experience uh, to, uh, of, uh, of, of Levski. And because this is, I mean, it's the last time we're going to see Levski in a, in a while. So... Uh, now there should be an elevator somewhere, but I can't exactly remember where it is. Maybe it's down here. Yeah, top lobby and hangers, so we're going to go for the top lobby. Uh, to lobby. And not customs, so that's the reason why. So here we are. This is the lobby. Look at this. Now you can see we're sort of at the top of the borehole, the big borehole. And uh, here we can claim a vehicle of sorts. So let's take a little drive around. Vehicle, let's see, what should we take? Let's take the Ursa Rover. 
Now, let's take the uh, cyclone because there you can see a little bit more of everything than uh, than with the with the rover. The rover is enclosed, so you can take off the helmet, but I mean, really, who cares? Garage 4. All right, so now we have to I have to change my clothes back to the undersuit. All right, now we are ready and it was garage 4 if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Airlock. And uh, cycle. One of the things that really, uh, I mean, um, puzzles me a little bit here in uh, in Star Citizen is that <laughs> when you're on a on a on a planet with with atmosphere, you have an airlock. Why the heck would you put an airlock to take you from relatively one PS psi to one psi? So, uh, well, let's start it up. Let's, uh, turn on the lights and let's take a look around. So yeah, this is the old working area, mining area of of Levski and Delamar, and sort of now we are on our own. So we can avoid driving down in a sinkhole or something like that. Um, this is an interesting way to steer. <laughs> so left means right and right means left. That's, that's uh, logical. I'm clearly not very good at driving this with my keyboard. <laughs> See how much we can get up of this little ridge here. Actually, a pretty good deal. I really didn't expect this that we could get this high up. Let's go out and take a stroll around. See if we can get up on this little hill here. Alright, so from here you actually have a pretty good view of most of Levski actually. So here you have the big borehole or sinkhole where they strip mine most of the asteroid and then you have sort of a, I suppose it's a refinery of some sorts over here. 
then you have a landing um, uh, what they called uh, <laughs> uh, hangers landing hangers over here and some strange ridge going through the it looks a bit weird that what you have there but yeah Levski uh, from the outside and from what I have gathered from the many visits that I've taken here we remove the chat. Um, Levski seems to be sort of in eternal darkness, so that means that either the borehole, the station here, is placed right at the pole, or that this uh, asteroid here simply doesn't have any uh, self rotation. And uh, the last part, well, I suppose anything is possible in a sci-fi game, but sort of from an astrophysical standpoint, the chance of finding an asteroid that doesn't rotate on itself, that's actually pretty impossible. Well, I suppose pretty unlikely is a better word to use, but I suppose you get the point. All right, let's get back. Park this car here. See if I, we can get back without me killing myself. Whoa. It's always more fun going down. This is fun. just park it the right way here so we're going to contact Lesky land control please proceed to assigned landing bay and where is that oh straight ahead Now you have also seen a little bit of Levski from the outside. Let's uh, conclude this little farewell to Levski with performing the uh, safety escort mission for Reco. And then this is going to be the last time we'll see Levski in a very long time. I hope that you have enjoyed this little quick visit here. Try to show you as much as I could in a relatively short amount of time, even though I've recorded for one and a half hour now. But uh, there's, a much, there's much to show, to be shown here at Levski. Even though it's a relatively small place, but... Uh, yeah. I'm going to miss it. For the time being, like I said. It's very important to keep in mind that it is not so much a farewell as it is more a uh, see you later. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Au revoir. Hasta luego? Hasta vista? Uh, let's see, uh, Henke too. Hopefully you have noticed one thing right now. The servers are actually very stable for the moment. That's a good thing, that's a really nice thing. 
that makes it very enjoyable to play Star Citizen when the servers are stable. You don't get a heck of a bunch of 30Ks all the way around. Now, I will make a video about 3.12.1 and 1 point, I think. But the honest fact is that the only real news in 3.12.1 is the Xenothreat missions and obviously also the disappearance of Levski. And uh, to be honest, I think that the uh, Xenothreat missions at this point are so heavily bugged that they're not, there's not much really to show. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid so. So making a video about the Xenothreat missions in the PTU, I mean, I would honestly consider it a waste of time, but I might stream tonight. Obviously, when you see this video, it's completely useless information for you, but I might put it on a stream and then discuss it there. But uh, I won't make videos about it because that content would be over before it even started so all right let's start up the ship one thing i'm truly going to miss about Levski, let me just show you that right now try to remember how fast the other hangar doors opened and compare it with this you are clear to launch That is fast opening of hangar doors. <laughs> All right. Bye bye, Levski. Hope to see you again soon. Let's see if we can uh, put some kind of fireworks out for in honor of Levski. out a little bit so let's see no unfortunately we can't this do this because we're still within the armistice zone let's go out of the armistice zone Did I turn off the weapons? No. Oh. Let's see if we can do it now. No. Still no cake. There we are. Alright. So let's do it. Farewell, Lesky. See you later. Alright, as you can see, we got a little uh, contact here on our way. He's red. He's an NPC, meaning he's dead. Let's take him. Alright. 
let's get back on mission track. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Maybe I took too much time. Too bad. Sorry, Reko. But um, at least I got to show you Levski, show you a little bit around. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Remember that uh, likes and subscribes, they really do help my channel. And uh, I hope that I will see you in the next video. So uh, until then, bye bye.